Hello again, Squaddies. Welcome back once again to Getting a Date. Today I think we're going to play as, I think her name's Amara? Amira. Mm, we'll stick with Amira. It's nice. Showtime. Oof, loud. Turn the light down on my microphone a little bit. I'm just going to, I'm just going to answer which ones seem funniest to me on this quiz and just kind of make it up as I go along. Social media craze. Uh... Greek Agoras. Be creative, because that's just kind of funny. Uh, crimes, sweaty and re manly wrestling match, wild parties in international waters, long walk in the forest after risking your date from a dragon, there's a meeting where you charm your date with some astonishing business advice. Go with that one. It's, I can. I was kind of guessing which one is which. <sighs> might be aiming. Might end up aiming for Miranda with this one. We'll see. Let's do this. Which means I don't actually know what Miranda's stats are, so. Let's build some boldness. Maybe skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because bathroom use your respect and authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hang out in the bathrooms. Plus zero shit, give plus zero shit, but gain plus two boldness. Deadly match of truth or dare with truth or dare or death with Polly. That'd be a super interesting event to cover, but then the two of you spot Miranda and Liam deep in an intense conversation. That's bound to be much more interesting. Hiya. Hey babes, you're making quite a noise, and I love anything that makes quite a noise. What's up? Miranda and I were having a creative disagreement. So we wanted to start our own school club. Intellectual rewarding extra curricular that in our minds while probably not being mentioned ever again in the future because continuity at this school seems to be a bit random. <laughs> wow, he's actually... You know how you think about it? Liam's actually 100% right on that. No worries, let's do it. Y'all know my favorite... Y'all know my favorite things in the world. Drugs. Mm -hmm. Sexual activities. Uh. Noise. <laughs> no, don't mean that too, but I meant chess and Russian literature. Stop treating me as if I were two-dimensional. <laughs> start a literature club. Uh. I'm not sure... I remember last year when you when we joined the literature club, or dope poems and made new friends. No, the other thing. Huh? Ah, fuck. Yes, that's right. Super weird. I almost forgot. I mean, that's how I died, you know. I think it's right now. Already between two ideas. Pros, we start the club club. So awesome. The meta club where we enjoyed ourselves with dining, crafting new school clubs. Da, 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 da. Okay then. <laughs> I pros the little pony sweet dreams club. A club where we would spend our nights learning how to tell the right bedtime stories to ponies. That sounds two dimensional. But in any case, can't you both just do your own clubs? No, our lives are fueled with a conflict and conversation that can only be solved by choosing between two options. You need to choose which club is the best one, because Amira always seems to choose based on who she wants to ask to prom. So try <laughs> okay, Liam, we get it. You're uh, you're aware of the fourth wall. Should we go for it? Do you remember one of these ideas includes opponents? Tough choice, must be because I'm like super drunk right now. When are you not? It's probably what we have to because no one is preventing you from making choices based on who you want to ask to prom. It's a technical guess is a nightclub. Yes! Good point. I do like nightclubs. Come here, needy kitty. Mm. Turns out it would be nothing like an actual nightclub, mm -hmm. right? Are you sure? Have you been to this little Pony Sweet Dreams nightclub? No, but less butts and more butts, B boo. Pony butts. Oh, how majestic. Hmm. That's got weird. <laughs> so, the only thing I understood is that my proposal is one, and that's the only thing that matters. I don't think you want to ask prom, but if that's true, you're off to a good start. Fuck yeah, you can't wait to tell Red bedtime stories to ponies alongside Miranda. You know what I mean? Plus two charm and plus one smarts. Okay, so I think I need s charm for this, for Miranda then. Let's do this! Yeah. Damien's staring at Miranda's elaborate silver spread while her eating surfs chow down a beauty on a neighboring table. Like all these stupid forks and spoons what and a shit. Noob. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. So, boy, the silver is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your surfs do it for you. Of course they do. Not using any of your silverware. Naturally, they aren't. Surfs must eat with their hands as befits the lower class. The silverware collection has no practical purpose. So, practical purposes? You could go round in our legs forever unless you have something to resolve this dispute. Maybe it is time you started murdering people with your silverware. What about your collection of exotic corpses? 
That's different. Those corpses are useful. Okay, I'm with Miranda on this one. What exactly are they useful for? They're holding down important documents. What important documents? Documents about very important... Ah, fine. So I don't use the stupid corpses for anything. I just stack them in a shed and occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. There, are you happy? Actually, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty damn funny. I'm gonna go play with my corpses. I'm... Oh, don't clip that. And by her collection, she should use the romance fork. Smooth. I, I have many questions, none of which I actually want to ask about the term romance Let's fork. Uh, so if I need charm, I know I need to go to the gym. Epic dodgeball match. I think Tina's lost, but you did a spiritual speech. Spectacular comeback. Naturally born leader. Plus two charm. We're going to try to put a smile on Liam's face. This should be good. Oh, Huzzah! fucking hell. I don't understand how you can be so gloomy all the time when the world is so full of wonder and magic. So I'm just not part of the Everything is Beautiful Club. Everything is Beautiful Club? Is that a secret club? Uh, what? Uh, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I want to join, I want to join, how, how can I join? Totally sexually disinterested in continuing this gag, but you have no story. You tell her. I have the membership that we're right here. Magic is real! All you have to do is eat a bunch of cotton candy and crap out of unicorn. Simpleton. We're into some membership forms you whipped up in Photoshop. They're totally fake, but she's loving it. All the forms and skips up to mail them to 123 Fairy Dust Lane. What happens when she finds out you made this whole thing up? Nope. <laughs> right now, later that week, she's. <laughs> it worked. Everything in Beautiful Club accepted my application. Wait, what? Um. The first applicant they've had in centuries. Recruiting is hard when you're a super secret club. They even gave me fun, glittery stickers to put over ugly things to make them beautiful. But I'm using it. You know why? How much Everything is beautiful. You can find some ugly people to stick them to. You can... The fact that that worked. No, no kitty. Let's do this. Uh, more charm. Miranda and Damien seem for game two. It goes, <laughs> come on, shit dicks, face the power of hell. What the? Paint this, beautiful battle. Paint this battlefield red, Damien. Grind them all into a thin red paste. Okay. Just your worrying confusion over the number of corpses in the gym. Isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary. Kill and murder. Then how do you talk to me? Honor, glory, feudalism. These are the words we will fight for. These are the words we will die for. Did something die? You guys, before it turns into an FPS or something. Ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many died before us, but we won't waver. Eh. That's right, I am the narrator. I'm sick of your shit. Oh, what's this? Looks like the opposing team had reinforcements the whole time. 15 orcs, 3 bears, 100 goblins, and a dragon that's also a machine gun, somehow. The narrator had more power than expected, huh? You should have thought about that before you fucked with me. Damn. Pleasure of narrating this bullshit. You wake up in detention, your team is lost, everybody hates you. And I'm making you lose minus 3 boldness to so this doesn't happen again. Well then, that could have gone better. Note to self, don't Let's piss off the narrator. Scott and Miranda. Getting suspiciously into a burger. <laughs> secret sauce, secret sauce. What dread mysteries awesome, do you consume? Bro. Secret sauce can talk? Hey, secret sauce, what are you made out of? No, Scott, my question was rhetorical. Awesome, mine was loud. Oh, it's an interesting active ingredient. It's delicious secret sauce. Unless you have an idea? Blood of the air people? I didn't know the high school cafeteria cared about my feelings here. Right, they don't. It's the air people bleed candy syrup and barbecue sauce. I should have known. I'm gonna eat food myself. I have searched for that, but I may have to make an exception. But I eat blood all the time, like pretty much every full moon. Scott's a little disappointed, but you don't care. You're busy sharing a saucy burger with Miranda. The way this game plays out sometimes, I wonder if it's made by psychos. Let's do this. Okay, so I can't go to the. Jim. It's been determined the bathrooms. You can count three wild hands on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? I know you should do them with the help of a hair comb. Plus the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. The bathrooms you've totally gained plus two boldness. Miranda modeling about her problems to no one. She often does this. It's like she's accustomed to having a royal scribe following her everywhere she goes. I wonder why that could be. What do about my army? We haven't had a proper war in months, and the soldiers have become ever so anxious. 
So he's using the servants to give them tummy rubs and even putting extra leaves and sticks in their cages. But they just kill the servants with the sticks. Mm -hmm. Your entire branch of the military would be so challenging. How can I possibly keep myself entertained? This sounds like a boldness. This sounds like creativity. Oh, fun. Prince are lost wars against the Pinata people the Mariana's Trench. Are there any pirate Pinatas left in the world, which there sadly are not? Great inflicts of Pinata immediately remind my person that the happy war years are at an end. Cruel, too cruel. Even more cruel than we did to the Pinata. Uh, disgraceful! Didn't. This explains why you had such a hard time having a Pinata for your last birthday party. It does not, however, explain why you wanted a Pinata at your birthday party, you dork. Minus two fun, minus one smarts. Well, shit. Okay. Uh, let's try to get smart. Plus two smarts. <gasps> Possibly doing this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. See there, so I was standing here suffering gallantly in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. Strategic injustice followed me earlier this morning. I was rejected from our school's water polo team. I was mistaken about how polo is conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. I was to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse's amount. How, I ask you? I implied they were too impoverished to afford sea steeds. If so, why would I? I would love to make reparations. Maybe too soon for me to show my face. Would you be kind to take them the gift of this omelet to begin the healing? Let's get her eggs to be a delicacy. Um, obviously. This person said toppings. Ooh, uh, one sec. Caviar, choc caviar, eel, chocolate coated sand crabs. I'll never forget this was a present from a mer princess. Come with your sincere swallows, a list of all your fears, and a bundle of compromising photographs. I'm going to get to know them out of the most. I don't know. So here's in gold leaf. Adorn the compromising nudes with adorable glitter stickers. <laughs> I've seen it before, but how can I mention for this guy in gesture? Take the omelet and make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the eggs so we can all remember how generous I was. Cheek. Ooh. Hands you the omelet and waves on your way. You can plus two smarts and plus one charm. Let's do this! Oh, crap. <laughs> Miranda folding napkins into your head. No. <laughs> there goes the yes. The red shaped napkin folds between ages of 16 and 22. Fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, the swan is for, is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. Fast and have never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Black swan foldings for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all the guests. Not very popular, the black swan. I wonder why. It's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively on it. You happen to have some napkin foldings as you just. Maybe you can spice up this room. I show off your most impressive napkin fold. Fold it like this. Like so, it could silver napkins and silver to fold more napkins. Look at holding everybody's napkins. It's like a tiny adorable surf. Folding the other napkins into more self-folding napkins. Oh god, I created a monster! Got a little napkin surfs. Be free! You will learn to a self cooking napkin scenario progressing geometrically until the world is nothing but napkins? No, not really. Why, that sounds lovely. God, you're impossible. Mispronounced. Impeccable. Whatever, I'm leaving before the napkin folk take over the world. You alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda. You can't hang out too long, though. You've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. I was like, did I just create Skynet with napkins? Let's do this. Uh, more charm. More epic dodgeball. Another team, but suddenly you've hit some. Yep. Plus two charm. This game is just. This is when Miranda comes rushing up to you, clearly disrupt. Most terrible news, friend. I have just watched the documentary Game of Thrones, and now I fear my friend or family. This has something that might be to random acts of treachery, or how can we romance our siblings? <laughs> I don't want to be shot in the chest by a crossbow while sitting on the toilet. That doesn't sound proper at all. Then don't be Tywin Lannister! Let me put my point. How can I possibly identify a potential treasure in my court? Classic sign. Shoot the eyes, hit up black cloaks, ordering knives in bulk. I tell you, should wait, she should wait until she invests to her castle. She's already spun the ball and it's pointing at. Uh, disgraceful. I have made worse enemy. How can I bring myself to betray me? I rest myself on suspicion, <laughs> and you forget sorting with a traitor. She's acquitted because she's literally a princess, but you don't have that luxury. You're sent to be publicly pelted with sea cucumbers. You lose <laughs> minus two charm, minus one fun. 
Okay, I'm not too bad about that one because that was pretty funny. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go to. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. Tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That monster's act would instantly give you plus 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep plus two boldness anyway for saying to yourself to yourself out loud. <laughs> That's an a lucky day. Okay, Miranda turn is must be Tuesday. So, what else are we going to do? Study? Ha! Let's see, if it's day four, that means it's actually Thursday. Or no, it's week four. Oh, hello, don't mind me. I'm sitting during the most horrible injustice to happen to anyone ever. It's cool to could happen in our own school, but today, Miss Lo Miss the Loch Ness Monster told me that I should be receiving a should be receiving a B plus in her class, a B plus, and all because I seldom attended. Does she not understand the importance of my daily royal manicures? So Horgrid will surely cause Father to cease paying for my seahorse insurance as punishment, and then how shall suitors call upon me? Oh, the tragedy! If only someone knew of a way I could, I don't know, perhaps break into Principal Giant Spider's office, access the private computer, and alter my grades. Since the Principal's office, when he goes out to eat, we sneak in to cheat. Looks like you're under Mr. Principal's medal, you don't exactly listening to the guy's make Miranda feel heard. It's awful, he's not leaving at all. It's drowned in the worst Miranda never hacks into the computer. So she meant slaughter and failed to help your friend receive a char a grade she didn't earn. You lose minus two fun and minus one charm. Again, not gonna lie, that was funny enough, I don't care. Let's do this! Miranda and Damien again. So we're Damien, predictably is expanding here. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the one for killing people, right? Uh, what? Good heavens no. This is the butter dagger. It would be unseeming to use it on meat. So what then? Am I supposed to use this scrawny looking knife to kill? Am I supposed to use this scrawny looking knife to kill? No, no, no. If you simply must kill someone mid meal, it's customary to use the fish knife. This is Merfolk court, so we're after all. I don't wait for my victim to die of old age. Do you see how it's done in my kingdom? Yes, that. Or poison. This is ridiculous. Yo, you there. Which knife would you use to kill a guy? Don't say the fish knife. The fish knife. I said it. But you said, yes, she was not even for murder. So this is a big scary knife you wanted to use in the first place in lunge it. You pick up the fish knife. Defend my honor. Make sure to hold the knife with pinky extended. What? How did you disarm me? I'm normally the best at stabbing. Fuck me. I guess the fish knife really is the best for murder after all. <laughs> that turned out funnier. Don't princess in matters of silver, my dear. Indeed, apparently. Some of us will be promising combat in silver. She words you her napkin as a token. Not sure if that's useful, but okay. Let's do this! First one in class, you must come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. A bit bitter, but in a cool way. Treat you like an adult, and two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, excelling at cliched movie tropes. Plus two smarts, and plus one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. Except that's not any use in this game. Miranda summons you. It feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her merman, her merman goons. Greetings, fellow classmate. I'm decided to trust you with my most important aspiration. The Queen of Prom. Royal Ascension is denied. We must prepare. She's naive, they foolishly assume that Prom Queen is a purely ceremonial title. Except Ursula Jr., she's proving to be quite a worthy rival. I respect that. She must destroy her reputation immunity. Any thoughts? Can't everyone she likes humans. Let's make someone look bad in this day and age. You, however, are monsters and went for a total overkill. Chinese hacker to plant 10 years of pro bono work rescuing human babies from lawnmowers in Ursula's name. At recess, Dr. Baby Love of the Baby Love Institute appears out of nowhere and presents her with a Humanity Award. This will seriously harm her standing with the evil lawnmower creature contingent. That's an important voting block. They're the ones who keep the schoolyard so tidy. Game plus two boldness and plus one smarts. <laughs> Every time I think I've figured this game out a little bit better, I, I run into stuff like that. I've got a charm. <laughs> plus two charm for winking at somebody. And over her phone while Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. Something really interesting must be going on on Polly's phone. Mostly though, you see that Polly's just on Tinder again, swiping right on everybody. Seems to out and a little worried. What did you say this was called again? Tinder. <laughs> it's an app for finding true love? Um, no. No. It, just, no. <laughs> um, sure. Oh, how but I never know. I can't say I was going to rail balls and kissing frogs and pretending to be in a magical slumber. <gasps> Somebody's been using this app? I mostly use it for collecting dick pics. Yeah, I'm not surprised that's where Polly would go. What are these dick pics? Tokens affecting oh I asked to be so far behind in my quest for love. The old practy and old maid now only now learning of this? How will I ever make up for lost time? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Purchase the app require all of its most attractive interactions to date me. How can my father met my mother except for the Indian Ocean instead of Tinder? What the fuck? Okay, two hundred and thirty million dollars for Tinder. I mean, okay, but like, I don't actually own the company. What do you mean? I thought you said you had Tinder. Yeah, on my phone. I have a copy of the app. I don't own any successful internet startups. And you were poor. I'm so sorry. It's cool. I must depart. I'm off to buy Tinder now. Goodbye. Have fun. A good time to install Tinder for your phone. Meanwhile, you get plus two <laughs> plus one part. Yeah. If a mermaid princess ever says she's buying Tinder, uninstall. Just right there. Let's do this. Oh, not what I meant to do. Oh, it's this one. Just reminds me of a D and D group I'm a part of. We ended up spending a good twenty minutes last week in our last session Let's talking about this. making a joke, making the term "bugbear dick joke" into a into an indie band name. Playing battle. The other teams. Yep. All right. So we're gonna see. You'd be lucky if you could do anything with that. Yep. Righteousness useless in this. The sack of your head and throws you in a car. You drive for hours. If I let you out and take the sack off. First floor restroom. Miranda is sitting on a makeshift sure throne with her goon. Well, her goon jump in and out of the toilet. Greetings and salutations. Conklin came in and out of the next stage. XP is crucial for this part. Most of my inner circle are fish. Hardly helpful unless genetically engineered beyond, rec beyond recognition. I need you to help me sneak a three meter tall, heavily armed cod assassin named Tresca into the school. No reason, but if you're friends with that singing harlot Ariel, you'd best say your goodbyes. That is so true. As a matter of fact, I think we already have an enormous heavily armed codfish at our school. If we kill him and take his place. His father always says, you can't make an omelet without severe, without severe collateral damage. I would argue with that statement, but I really can't. Cheska should have been able to come up with on his own. He's the assassin, after all. Or a class job. Phew, he's what am I doing? Doing a college job is like 100 ranks beneath me, right next to being from Iceland. Well, that's just... That's just, like, racist. Plus three boldness. Glad I went for the smarts. Let's do this! Mm. More epic dodgeball. You decide to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against the other part of the other. It's your holding their spiritual determination. It's now a bit less the other leader is now a bit less fabulous. Miranda excellently. It's clumsy, it's kinda of cute and romantic. For a second you suspect she rehearsed it. What are you do you hear? Anyway, I've been wondering. Clean my house today, but I can't come up with anything fun to do. It's just a million. Just a million? Yeah, what the f something. Together? Ah, uh, okay. Eh, worth a shot. Honestly, it's not even the weirdest thing I've suggested in this game. Let's do this. Coven, Polly, and Miranda. Well, I'm ready to scream. <laughs> Bizarre, my powers. I mean, the cute tall one is less, my less attractive evil twin. Use a shade, just like me, clearly because the evil twin thing. We're not talking about eating. What do you mean less attractive? Uh, disgraceful. Subterfuge. Feel them in my brain, making me less cool and sexy. Always ah. the same with you. Yeah. Joust them in Miranda's honor. Jousting Lance in New York. Where did I get the jousting Lance? We're out. Just who are they? My knight in shiny armor. Oh, noble champion. Oh. Just sitting in a pile of turtles, or am I just super high? I mean, yes. Maybe that question pretty much answers itself. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fi Let's do this. Final time. We're just gonna go. I'm gonna go get creative. It's intense, and inspiring. Generations plus your creativity. Okay, and a cloud of gas knocks you out. You come to your senses, plummeting towards Earth. Rapidly approaching terminal velocity. Well, the school's backyard and the hands of his biggest his classmates don't notice. Mm. None of them even notice your glorious fall. People are so used to spectacle at the school. Slow ascension is tiresome. I need a glorious act, a grand gesture to secure my throne. Will I flay my salmon? Mm. 
Have the son and the atrocities of your family committed. That sounds creative or bold, I'm not sure. This sound actually that's bold. Oh, that's great too. Eh well. I mean I'll still ask her. Just because <laughs> Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Ah, disgusting. Yeah, well. <laughs> Don't miss me. Disgusting. The rest of your life, and you never moved on, becoming a total and constant failure. You never see anything again, except for that time you won monster got talent. It was being a failure of love. It to everyone how bad you were at romance. Not any less sad though. Hey, anyway, well, it's like it would be coming lasagna. This is a peasant school. Pleasant school, only a bit overwater-ish for my taste. Ah oh, well. Let's take a look at the ending stuff real quick. I'm gonna job being princess of her kingdom, which was actually kind of her job already. Well, you don't see her complaining about it. I graduated from doing lots of ayahuasca, and now she appears to hallucinate people and acts as their spirit animal. Scott became an athlete. Not so long ago, he won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. Alright then. Well, that is this one done, and I screwed that up. But, if you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like on the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And if you want to keep up with me, never send my current series, and consider joining the squadron by subscribing to the channel. It does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. Also, I'm going to see eventually about getting some friends of mine to join me on this, because this is better with multiplayer craziness. But as for that, folks, I have been D. Couldn't quite get with Fish Lady, but eh, whatever. Until next time. Good night. And good gaming.